Hey everyone, and welcome to another CTF write-up video. Uh, this is Web California State Police. It was a medium, medium, easy uh, CESP challenge with 35 solves. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing a review of the application, and then the source code, and then we'll talk about the solution. If you're only interested in the solution, feel free to skip ahead. But with that, let's get started. So this challenge was made by Applet. I don't know who they are, but I see them all over the place. It says, stop, you're, you're under arrest for making suggestive three-letter acronyms. Um, we can see this is CESP. We're given a website link, an admin bot, and index.js. It says the admin bot cookie is HTTP only, and same site is equal to lax. Um, same site equals to lax isn't necessary for this challenge, but it was enabled on all of the web challenges. And HTTP only means that we aren't able to access the cookie in uh, JavaScript. So we're not able to exfil the cookie this way. We have to actually make a manual request with the bot. Um, let's look at the website. It says California State Police. Our site has been upgraded to use the latest security features, but for some reason we can't use CSS anymore. It'll probably be fine. No one really cares about styling anyways. And we're given a input box and a button. Um, if we look at the headers, we can see it's using default content security policy with a default source of none and a script source of unsafe inline. Um, and then there's a Cloudflare cookie, but that's not related to the challenge. Cool. All right. So somehow we're going to have to bypass the CSP, and this is a very restrictive CSP. When it's default source none, that means we pretty much just can't do anything. Um, so even if we somehow get access to a flag, it's going to be very hard to exfiltrate it because we can't like load an external image, we can't load an external style, um, we can't even load an external script. We're allowed to execute like scripts on the page, but um, it is definitely restricted. So let's take a look on here. Hello world. And let's do a script tag alert one. And cool, so we do have an injection. That's nice. And it's being reflected. Yep, so we have the H1 we typed in and the script we have one typed in. Uh, it's not being reflected in the URL, so I guess it's being saved to this UUID. Um, that's interesting. And for the admin bot, it looks like it accepts any URL. So ultra interesting. Uh, let's take a look at the source code. So uh, this was it. We were given this one file, index.js. Uh, it's an express app. So here's the flag. Uh, it's loaded in from the end. So this is our goal. And it looks like there's a route to the flag, two routes to the flag. The first one is a get route. And it says you need a post to get the flag. And then there's a post route to the flag. And it says, if your cookie is equal to the admin password, we get the flag. All right. So we're allowed to send a URL here to the admin. The admin will view that URL. And using the admin, we need to call this flag route with a post request, steal the cookie, and then somehow exfiltrate it. All right, uh, let's see what else we have. Um, there's a cleanup script. Um, this was common in a lot of the challenges. Uh, they just basically, these are the reports we're submitting, and it just deletes them every once in a while. It's not really necessary for the challenge. Um, here is that content security policy. We can see it's setting default source none, script source none. Um, and this is the meat of the challenge. So even if we have a script that steals flag, first off, we can't just do an XHR or like a fetch request to get the flag because we're not allowed to even talk to ourselves. This is, if it's not self, it's none. So uh, definitely tricky. Uh, here's the report route. So this is how we, oops, this is how we submit code uh, in that text box. Um, so we're going to submit a rec.body with a crime. It's going to make sure it's a string. It's not too long. It's going to set a UID and then add it to the map. Okay. And then app.get report ID. This is how we grab it uh, and it'll return the text HTML. And the, yeah, this is our XSS injection. And then there's the index.html. So uh, like I said, we're not given much. Um, it really is just a challenge of bypassing this. To solve this, we're going to use two different tricks. Uh, the first is we're going to create two different reports, and we're going to chain them together to be able to steal the flag. So in our first report, we're going to create a form with a method of post to the flag. And when this, this script is loaded, it's automatically going to uh, submit. So it's going to do form action flag method post, and then just submit itself. This button really isn't necessary. It was just for testing. And when the page loads, the script is going to execute. It's going to find the element by ID, which is this one, and automatically submit it. So that means the content of this report is going to have the flag in it. Our second solve script, and this doesn't bypass CSP. Um, technically, there is a CSP protection for this, so uh, I think it's CSP form action. Yeah. 
So there is a CSP policy for this, but um, it's not as part of the default source. Um, next, we're going to load a, another report. In this report, we're going to do a window.open of our first report. And then we're going to, this is necessary because the bot was, sorry, the admin bot was idling out a lot. I don't know if it actually, and timing out, and uh, I think it just exited early. I don't know if this is actually what made the difference, but I kept it there just in case. Um, it's possible this isn't necessary. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this window to fully open, do its post request, and since these are the same domain, we're allowed to inspect the contents of this window. So we're going to open the window, we're going to get the document, the document element, and then the inner HTML, which is just basically the body, and then we're going to do a top-level redirect and send window.location to an endpoint we control with the flag. So if we look, see what this looks like, let's take this. Uh, let's go back. Network. Um, because it does these redirects, we need to uh, actually copy out before it does the redirect. So this is our first URL. So we can see it's going to say no hacking allowed. Um, so we loaded the report, we went to the report endpoint, and then it automatically did a redirect post to flag. Um, because we're not the admin, uh, where's the flag? Uh, we're going to get this no hacking allowed. So we did a post request to flag, but we don't have the admin cookie, so it's going to say this. So we take that that uh, report we just created. We're going to put it here, and oops, we're going to put it here, and now load the script. So uh, lots of stuff happening, and this was the one we want. So you might have noticed that as soon as I submitted this one it opened up a new tab with the no hacking allowed. So this is the first um, script we created, and this is the second one. So it loaded that other one in a new window, and then eventually did a redirect to here. We can see this is our webhook site. Um, but now we have the final uh, uh, solve script, so we can send that to admin bot. Let's also load the webhook site. Is this the one I was using, uh, E62? No, let's use that one. Cool, well, you can already see a flag there, but uh, we're going to say we're not a robot. We're gonna hit submit, and bam, there is the flag. So in review, um, we created two different uh, solve scripts to bypass the CSP. The first one was a auto-submitting form that does the post request for us to get the flag. And the second one was to create a new window that opens the first solve script and uh, steals the flag and then does a top-level redirect. So. Overall fun challenge. Uh, if anyone has a better way to solve it, please let me know in the comments. Um, and with that, thank you. See ya.